LWT News 5, leading the way with breaking news. And that breaking news, the Roebling Bridge here in Cincinnati had been shut down for a while, but it just reopened a little while ago as a police investigation is ongoing. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Mike Dardis and I'm Ashley Kirkland. It's the third time that this has happened in less than a week. This time police say they got a report of a suspicious package sometime around four o'clock. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is live with the latest update from police. Brian. Yeah, actually, well, the bridge is reopening. You see now traffic is moving across this way. They go to the bridge across it. Uh, both sides just uh, released the hold they had on the bridge here a short time ago. There were a lot of crews out here. This is where the uh, they had their command center set up. Uh, what they had was a call of a suspicious package that was on the roadway of the bridge. Uh, they couldn't take any chances, even though they thought it was probably just a suitcase that fell off a vehicle. And that's what it really turned out to be. It was some sort of uh, almost looked like one of those pack and play kind of devices. They said bedding was in it. It was a, a gray bag, probably about this big. Uh, and they pulled it off, but they couldn't take any chances knowing that they had had these threats called in. In this one, there was no threat called in. There was just this bag on the bridge, so they had to shut it down now for a third time. But everyone on this side of the bridge, uh, Covington Police, Covington Fire, they had to be here. They had to shut down the area here at Green up in third. They had to shut down the area on the other side over there at the banks. Uh, had to have the bridge closed down. Took about an hour or so before they were able to get the bomb squad out there. They got the dogs out there. They were all able to kind of get an idea what this was. And then whenever they deemed this thing safe, uh, police fire actually came carrying the bag off in their bare hands. So, you know, they obviously knew this was not a threat, but it is. it was as they had thought that it was not going to be a threat. But again, they could not take chances, especially given the climate with these uh, bomb threats that have been out here over the past week or so. So the bridge is open now. Traffic is moving smoothly. Uh, no issues here at this point. So and they hope this will be the last time they have to do this for a long time. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, thanks so much for the update there. So